Some of you, according to your location, on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland, Radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from, I remain the fellow IPOB evangelist, Maze Marapchimwachuku. I am from Mundia, Bondia, boys in Aniri. Aniri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcast under IPOB. Namdekan is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement, illegally detained, based on the illegal stay of execution granted to the Nigerian federal government by the Nigerian Appeal Court as the, the Appeal Court judges that ruled on the favor of Namdekan and based on the constitution of Nigeria and international law. They were all removed by the Attorney General of Fulani, um, Abubakar Malami, and they insulted their Fulani agendists and um, um, Islamic agendists um, judges, and they granted an illegal stay of execution, which they was not able to present any grand, okay, amendment, uh, sorry, what is this called? Okay. Amended grant of, what is it called? Grant of appeal, right? Yes. Amendment grant of appeal, they could not be able to present it in the Supreme. And today, here we are. We are IPOB, we cannot be defeated. We are not Nigerians, we refuse to be Nigerians. We have been, we presented this argument for how many years now, nobody was able to convince us and tell us the reason why we should be in Nigeria and or convince us and tell us why we should stop agitating for Biafra. Rather, they resorted in killing us, thinking that they can intimidate us by killings, um, illegal detentions, disobedience to court orders, and so many other things. Even the militarization of our land, they increase it. They brought full and enhancement terrorists. They brought all killings. They brought, um, what is it called? Um, propaganda. Thinking that they will stop IPOB. Today, the same IPOB they call miscreants. The same IPOB they say they should not be listening to is the IPOB that their cases was raised in court, are being raised in court also. And the same IPOB have been defeating the Nigerian government. IPOB leader have not been convicted. Non-IPOB family member have been convicted for how many years? And as it stands today, the same IPOB have defeated them. We are in their Supreme Court. And from Federal High Court to appeal, from appeal to Supreme, we have touched all levels of the judiciary, and we keep crushing because they underestimated IPOB. Instead of confronting us um, civilly, they came with force, excessive force, using their army, using their police, using their air force, using their civil, uh, their um, what is it called, navy, all sorts of forces. They brought it against IPOB in our peaceful protest. Even without protest, they go to houses, they kidnap us. We told them we are non-violence and we are fighting under self-determination and we must maintain it. Today we have maintained it. Nigeria have no ground to retain us in Nigeria. It is impossible. Nobody. We have even confronted those that claim to be our fathers. They claim to be leaders from the East. It is only in a, this country that people... When you want to solve an issue, they will be telling you about tribe. That is why we tell you that nobody is a Nigerian. When something happens in Yoruba, if there is a Nigeria, people from the East will be in pain. People from the West will be in pain. People from the North will be in pain. But in Nigeria, it is not the case because there is no one Nigeria. Nobody is a Nigerian. No place is Nigeria. Nobody is even uh, planning to be Nigeria. All this one Nigeria and let us be one is just on their lips. Let us come to the issue on ground. 
the things happening to our people in Lagos, have you ever, don't you see that um, they expect the people from their side to help them? Means that in Nigeria, there is no one Nigeria. Do you understand? Let us just listen to a voice. Let us just listen to a voice. One thing I've noticed, Pemi, while I've been here, is that Northerners seem to have, Pemi, a worse call an obsession about the Igbos. Could you perhaps explain that to me? Well, the Igbos are more or less the type of people whose desire is mainly to dominate everybody. If they go to a village, to a town, they want to monopolize everything in that area. If you put them in a labor camp as a laborer, within a year they will try to emerge as headmen of that camp, and so on. Well, in, in the past, our people were not alive to their responsibilities, because you can see from our northernization policy that in 1952, when I came here, there weren't 10 northerners in our civil service here. Then I tried to have it northernized, and now all, all important posts are being held by northerners. Is this policy of filling all key posts in the north solely with northerners and not with other Nigerians a temporary or permanent one? In actual fact, what it is is a northerner first. If you can't get a northerner, then we take an expatriate like yourself on contract. If we can't, then we can employ another Nigerian, but on contract too. This is going to be permanent, I should say, for as far as I can foresee, because it would be rather dangerous to see the number of boys who are now turning from our, all our learning institutions coming out with having no, no work to do. I'm sure whichever government uh, of the day might be, it will uh, feel rather embarrassed and it might even lead to bloodshed. Doesn't this damage the idea, sir, of uh, all people in all regions in, in Nigeria being fellow citizens of one country? Well, it might, but well, um, you are, I mean, new to our region, but how many northerners are employed in the east or in the west? The answer is no. And if there are, there are maybe ten laborers employed only in the two regions. I think the, the, it was coming out. I, I think, why is Facebook removing people? Did you get my voice from there? Uh, sorry, did you get the voice I played? What is happening is Facebook removing people. I want to confirm. I want to confirm. Did you get the Amadou Bello voice? I want to confirm. Nigeria being fair citizens of one country. I think... Okay, I, I, I have seen it. it. It is playing clearly. Yes. Thank you. It is playing clearly. I have confirmed it. Now, let us go and listen to another. I want to... Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. Thank you. Let me just go. I want to... You know, Facebook, with the very pictures on the screen, and um, with the very... Like, okay, let me... With... Uh, in short, the topic is a problem to Facebook. But I will expose Nigeria now in this topic. I know I jump, I'm just preparing the ground. I will deal with them. Facebook, I think you, you are here. Watching. <laughs> Let me come. We are building some things here. We are... You know, you know, they say one Nigeria. There is nothing like one Nigeria. There is nothing like one Nigeria, I tell you. Nothing. That is why we say we are IPOB. We demand for referendum for the people of Biafra to decide if they want Fulani has men to be coming to their farmland, rape their mother, rape their daughter, cut their past into peace, then get away with it. It is in our hands to decide that checking point will be at the front of our house by Nigerian army, people from Sokoto, people from Kebi, 
people from Cardona, people from Joss, that cannot even hear my language. They'll become a security. They'll be at the checking point at the front of my house. It is in our hand to decide during the freedom. It is in our hand to decide that somebody from Zungeru, somebody from Castina, will be a police DPO and police DCO of a police divisional police uh, headquarter in my community. Somebody that cannot understand my language. Where does it happen? He will be DPO in my place. So everybody in my place will be speaking English. No, now it doesn't happen. Your people will be police in your place. Police in your place. They, they will, you could be able to explain to them what happened. So it is what we are arguing, it is what we are here for. That's why if they bring out gun to kill us, we say, you are joking. It is not what we ask for. We ask for freedom. And it must, and it must be granted to us. It must to the people of Biafra. It is must. We are getting there. We are almost there. <laughs> After Supreme Court, we are going to Onye kwigu ewu na esu on nam de kanu oputa na emana na kwigu ewu ni ne esuria ewu ni ne esuria chine ke mere me bere ewu ni na obu ono thank you let us go there again let us go there there is something we want to get there now there is something I want to bring in to this very... Let us listen to this one. I will do everything possible to stop that move. For the country, just of recent, Sunday ago, uh, was released, for, uh, released from prison, but he issued a fresh ultimatum for Fulani community that are residing in Yoruba land to leave the region within 10 days. This time around, we, uh, the Northern Consensus Movement of Nigeria, will do everything possible to stop that move. And if he refuses to listen, to, uh, if he refuses to listen then we have no option rather than to ask Yorubas that are resident in the Northern Nigeria to also go back to their region. On the issue of compensation uh, for our victims as a result of NSAS killing, Shasha Akinyele market killings, IPOP and ESN killings, we have been pursuing it for some years now. Since previous administration, a lot of promises were made, but still the federal government refused to fulfill the promise. So we are requesting Mr. President Bola Anatunubu. Are you getting it? We are getting to the one Nigeria. I think you are getting the very serious confusion. You had the Fulani man talking on behalf of the North, right? Now, you had his presentation. He says, Sondi Ibohu, from the West, do you understand? Sondi Ibohu, from the West. He now said that he brought again he did, he's not talking about Nigeria. The Fulani man is not talking about Nigeria. You listen to Amadou Bello. He wasn't talking about Nigeria. He was talking about northernization. And you listen to this man. He said that some people who incited or he gave order that the Fulani should leave their region. Do you understand? Now, he's not speaking on behalf of Fulani. He's not speaking on behalf of the North. He is now speaking on behalf of the North. Right? He is now speaking on behalf of the North. Why didn't he speak for Fulani? Now, why didn't he speak on behalf of Nigeria? Now you get the division there. You now get the division. This is how we roll. This is how British pamper us into rubbish that doesn't work called Nigeria. He's now presenting the division there. He told you that Sunday Ibohu said that the Fulani uh, will leave the southwest. Do you understand? 
And if you listen to him, he will now tell you that they will stop, if it continues, they will ban food supply from the north to, to the, is it other part of Nigeria or southern Nigeria? Do you understand? Now, what does that show you? It shows you that Nigeria is not one and cannot be managed. Nigeria is unmanageable. The foundation is... On this issue of compensation, to do something on it, as we are giving four weeks ultimatum, if nothing is, if nothing is being done, then we are uh, actually going to peaceful protest, peaceful demonstration, after which we will shut down the country on all food supplies moving from north to all southern part of the country. This thing we have sent to President Bola Hametunumbu even before he was uh, inaugurated as president. And as president, commander in chief, we have also forwarded. Now, he telling you about uh, stopping food supply from, uh, from, uh, from the north to other part of the southern Nigeria. Do you understand? Do you see the mentality of one Nigeria now? Now you are getting the one Nigeria. Is there anything like one Nigeria there? Is there anything like anybody is a Nigerian? Is he speaking like a Nigerian or he's speaking like a Northerner? Just, on the, just tell me, was Amadou Bello also speaking like a Nigerian or he was speaking like a Northerner? Now this man now, is he speaking like a Nigerian or he's speaking like a Northerner? I want to see the Nigeria there. Can somebody show me Nigeria? <laughs> Do you understand? Northern Consensus Forum. Coalition of Northern Con The same people that gave bounty of 100 million on behalf of Onamdekan. Now, somebody should show me the one Nigeria. Let us go back. I want us to get there. I want to see one Nigeria and I want to see who is the Nigerian. Everywhere. They removed the rail line from our land. They, they, no, no Yoruba people talk. No, not an I complain because this is not part of Nigeria. The only Nigeria is Hawaii. Now, as he's telling you that they will stop food supply, this idiot from the north, he's not even telling you that they will also tell federal government from, to stop bringing oil from the east. You know, they should stop supplying uh, crude oil, anything like a crude oil. Any product from crude should not come to the north. No, he's not saying it. He's not saying it. No, he cannot say. He is talking about the even Fulani does not farm. Fulani is cattle uh, are cattle rearers. They don't do agriculture. Fulani have nothing, no experience of agriculture. Nothing. That's why they destroy farmland. So you 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 have farm, you have food, this idiot, but you send cow to destroy our farms. And when we launch ESN, you are here attacking. I, I, I thought ESN killing. How many northern communities in Biafra land have IPOB invaded? This idiot from the north. How many northern community residents have IPOB invaded? Or have IPOB taken any action? Instead of you to tell the world that the terrorists you send in the bushes to destroy our farmland so that by now you'll be making them out of food, that ESN confronted them. Why is it that federal government does not report ESN actions in the bushes? No. They try to do some instigation in community and target ESN. We are asking this very maternal idiot. When you are talking about IPOB ESN, they killed in the east. Who are they that they, they killed? Cows. You count cows as human beings. Because all the video of ESN in action that IPOB presents, it is all about cow. You see cows on the ground. Because ESN is professional in the game. They know how to chase your full and idiots away and capture their cows. Because they are cows. Apart from federal government sponsor and backup, who is full and Can full and singularly, wholeheartedly, confidentially travel without backup of government? It's impossible. So they don't have mind. They don't have mind. Thank you. Thank you. We want to get back there. I lay a foundation and then I have by saying it was a plate number balance here. That plate number you are seeing there. I think you are seeing the plate num number. 
Nigeria moto plate number. Right? You saw the two, three heads there. You know, people drive cars, you know, they, they have a plate number of Nigeria. They don't know the meaning. That's why I presented their pictures on the screen. You saw Tafua Beliwa. You saw Awolowo. You saw, you, you are seeing Awolowo, you are seeing Zeke. You are seeing Tafua Beliwa. They are the people you are seeing on that plate number. I just brought Amadou Belo to tell you that is the one Kule foundation of the rubbish going on. That's why you see Amadou Belo. So, the three people you are seeing there are the same people on the plate number. This plate number I cut off. I just gave the picture of these three people. You know, <laughs> you can understand now. Now you get the point. Now you get the point. You see them there. You see them. You see Tafa Beliwa with the cattle rearing stick. I will show you when time comes. Let us listen to this idiotic Fulani. Let us deal with Nigeria now. Uh, okay, you, you kidnap Namdekan. <laughs> Namdekan have crushed you from lower court to higher court. And from there, we are, <laughs> are the supreme. <laughs> then that job is done. We are now facing the, the main battle. You know? Uh -huh. That is what... That job is done... We secure the life of Namdekan. We secure everything. We kept our IPOB away from violence. We cut off the hands of criminals clo that come, came closer to IPOB. We cut off any criminality attached to Namdekan. Then, today, we are standing firm, confronting Nigeria and the British. Then, let us deal with other enemies. Thank you. I know to August. Oguna, IPOB, I may buy Lubur. I may have an album bar. Okalango Chakano. Your leadership, we must now win a consort to the world. Can I warn upon Nigeria? Oh, yeah, we are an aga. Right? My canal British citizen cage. British citizen cage. British, they play the diplomacy. IPOB, not up cross. If you don't play it that self, that side, they are here, 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 they are Oh, when they got confronted to confront the British, why must they keep their citizens there? They kill them and confront Nigeria for committing international law, uh, for going against international law. These are things you must do. Anything you may in the African land have no reflection to free Nam de Khan. He's a freedom fighter, he's not a politician. His matter is on international. What you do is, if you are intelligent, you move trouble or violence or anything away from your land so that your people can see the enemy if they come. You do not allow any violence because it is just like team that um, love, uh, if ball will come to your post, you play it to, instead of kicking it out, you play it over the bar. Don't you, go that the op don't you know that the opponent will play corner kick? Don't you know corner kick is dangerous? Somebody may touch it, it will go inside your post. Don't you know that uh, kicking somebody, hitting a player down before the 18-yard boss is dangerous? Don't you know that corner kick may touch somebody on his hand? It may be penalty. Don't you know that IPOB avoided it? Immediately, Namdekan was kidnapped. We avoided pressure on our post. We move it away. But some people was paid. They are shouting. Hey, hey, hey let us uh, sit at home enforcement. Let us do something. Let us... They were playing ball over the bar. So that... Enemies will play corner kick and score in our post. How do you love corner kick? In a shout, why you cannot play ball at the front? But IPOB pushes ball front. We go to Abuja and stood within Namdekan. We push ball front. We go attack. We go to Abuja. We won. You were at home. Playing ball at the, over the bar. Playing it at the side of the throwing, closer to the post. They throw close post, uh, close throwing. It is not normal. IPOB moved the ball to the front. That's what we did because we have scored many goals. We have scored many goals. You come to set confusion in our post. You tell me you are doing something. You cannot move to the front. How do you do something in your post? How do you score? How do you score pressure on your post? You cannot cross Okine. You cannot cross Otipa. You cannot cross um, Lokoja. 
But IPOB cross all these places. We stood shoulder to shoulder with Nam the Kano. You know, that they are and they boom at the same you are doing something. How does it reflect to the freedom of a UK citizen held in Abuja? Is a UK citizen Nam the Kano in Enugu? The answer is no. Is it Nam Kano possessing Biafran documents or Biafra passport? The answer is no. Then why do you raise up arms against Biafrans in Biafra land? Why do you kill them? Is it Nam Kano occupying Biafran citizenship? You know, you know, you don't know international law. But they said, I, I am a Finnish citizen. I have citizenship passport. Nam Kano tore his Nigerian pass passport. British have a legitimate right on him. And IPOB have the most legitimate right on him. Biafra people have no right on him. Rather, Biafra people will channel their energy on IPOB. They cannot go and confront the British because there is no Biafra government and there is no Biafra leader. But there is IPOB leadership. And IPOB is an organization because the whole Biafra cannot join you. So by the organization and the kind of list are the people that is legitimately that have the right to confront the British and Nigeria. Biafra people cannot confront British. There is no other group that have the legitimacy to confront the British and confront Nigeria to free a British citizen that is not possessing any Biafran passport, rather British passport. When they can try to deceive you, you think we are we are <laughs> ordinary, as if we don't know what we are doing. Arana bag. We move. Orai maranya. They to see trying down by you. I ni no kofu no kabu no kato koro koro cheno na radio na agwa ihe na emi na akinyo do you think we can be moved or provoked thank you thank you e ma na agote thank you e ma no mo mo na agokwa nyu kwa dia makwa ama ende ai na ekwa nya makwa ya Right? Akwa bata ba ha gwa ni aya na eku. Kai we na land iro ni. Share it very wide though. Kam mla chikwa azu. I want to go back. What is it now? Okay, let me go. Let me just start from here. I was released from, uh, released from prison, but he issued a fresh ultimatum for Fulani community that are residing in Europa land to leave the region within 10 days. This time around, we, uh, the Northern Consensus Movement of Nigeria, will do everything possible to stop that move. And if you refuse to listen to, uh, if you resist to listen, then we have no option rather than to ask Yorubas that are resident in the northern Nigeria to also go back to their region. On the issue of compensation, uh, for our do you hear go back to their region? Did you see anyone Nigeria there? No. Did you hear it? Can you hear this in America? Go back to your region. Can you hear this in America? Go back to your region. Can you hear it? Do you understand? Did you get anyone in Nigeria there? A Northern is telling you, a Yoruba people, they will go back to their region. Which region? Is it not one Nigeria? No wonder Yoruba destroy Igbo properties. No wonder Yoruba kill Biafrans. No wonder they stop Biafran from voting in Lagos. No wonder. Now you see the fraud in one Nigeria. Now you get the fraud. Now you get your stupidity. Now you get it. I will use the plate number on the screen to arrange the brain of the foolish Nigerians. That very plate number. Agnoji Adoharili Mwoburoge now. Let us touch it. I want to see one Nigeria. Anybody see one Nigeria? <laughs> no. IPOB said the of my Victims as a result of NSAS killing, Shasha Akinyele market killings, IPOP and ESN killings. We have been pursuing it for some years now. Since previous administration. 
There is nothing like I pop and the ESN killings of Fulani. We did not kill Fulani. Tell the world that the Fulani is our cows. So you are counting cows that the ESN, not even IPOB, ESN, attacked, destroying our, our farmland. You know, so you, you are now counting Fulani um, cows as, as a northerners. Now we ask you, can you show us a northern residence in Biafra land that are doing their legitimate businesses that IPOB attacked? Can you show us? That place is no co area. It is a standing order from Unam de Kano that no northern resident should be attacked on whatever happening in Biafra land. Unam de Kano gave it as a standing order. He said, we must maintain international law. We must maintain international law that every northern doing their legitimate businesses in Biafra land must be protected. Their residents must be protected. But anybody that we see rearing cow in our bushes, raping our mother, destroying our farmland, destroying our crops, even if Nigerian army come there to defend them, they will all seem as bushmeats because they are all terrorists. We do not allow them. They should go inside our townships and rent houses. That's what our leader said. They should live with people. They should not live in the bushes. And if they are in the townships operating, doing their legitimate businesses, nobody should attack them. But in the bushes, we are in their cows and forest, they should be confronted. That's the order. So if somebody come up and say, IPAV ESN, attack the Northana, you are insane. We knew the order and nothing happens. Do you see a Northana in Biafra land? If the Northana police your shoe or amend your clothes of any kind or amend your shoe or cut your nail in Biafra land. If somebody say you will not pay, if you see what Biafra will do to that person, if an Igbo man or a, a Kwaibo man, a Biafra say he will not pay a Nathana, his work, his uh, work, workmanship or his handwork, you must be dealt with. Nobody can intimidate in, in Biafra land. We don't. In, we, there is no partiality. That's why if Tinubu is a Biafran, the same is, is an Igbo man. The same Igbo man will tell him Tinubu, you don't have certificate. We don't do like Yoruba. We are not evil. We are, go and ask the Yorubas in Biafra land, living in Biafra land. No, no tribe have lived here and they hate to be coming here. No tribe have lived in Biafra land and they hate to be coming here. All the Nathana are protected. We love strangers more than ourselves. We fight for, the, for strangers. We can even fight ourselves because of a stranger. So if you hear this incitement, that's why he say nothing has been done. What will be done? Yes, I'm confirmed full and yes, men terrorist and chase them away. They leave their car and run away. Then anyone the hand of yes, and touches, it will be get down. Simple. It is a cow. Cow must be get down. Simple as that. They are professional in the job. Have you ever seen the video and see the dead body of a flanny? In the video of ESL in action, have you ever? You cannot see. You can only see cows. So they are professional in the duty. So flanny idiot, you say you are consensus, uh, consensus, consensus rubbish. Not a consensus idiot. You, uh, you cannot even present an argument. I don't know what I'm you. You know, they don't know we are specially trained by Namdekano. Maybe they, they don't understand. I was specially trained. A lot of promises were made, but still the federal government refused to fulfill the promise. So we are requesting Mr. President Bola Anatunibu on this issue of compensation to do something on it, as we are giving four weeks ultimatum. If not, in a, if not... Not an eye. You know, full any compensation. What compensation? I want to pick points here. There is no one Nigeria. Do, do you get any one Nigeria? No one Nigeria. He's not talk, he's only talking about Northana. 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 The same thing with Johannes. They'll be talking about Eastern and Dibu. Ndibu. Ndibu. The other people will be talking about South South. South South. Niger Delta. Our oil. Our oil. The other people will be talking about our food. Our food. They will Everybody talking about all this rubbish will never even say we don't want to see oil from the east. 
as this Matana idiot is trying to tell you, they stop supplying food. They, he will not even tell the federal government that they don't want any product from the crude. No, he will not say it. But they start supplying food. You see how, how idiot is been actually going to peaceful protest, peaceful demonstration, after which we will shut down the country on all food supplies moving from north to all southern part of the country. This thing we have sent to President Bola Hametunumbu even before he was uh, inaugurated as president. And as President Commander-in-Chief, we have also forwarded this demand and request. All security agencies, the head of security agencies of this country are aware of it. All governors of 19 northern states, all former leaders, the former president uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, most especially those that come from the north, are aware of it. The Northern Traditional Council are aware of it. The 19... Let us consult our gods by thanking him, then we proceed. One Nigeria indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very much. Thank you. Narekele na roti to na jama ni ambulelo na richi si chine kemboche ezudo ezinhu na anya onye pokora ipiobi oyene nyanya mamihe oyene nyanya intuziaka aine buli gelu ibuchi inadi rebiebi. Odi onya ja tunyeregi imela makihi mewurani imela inyirani nam de kan imela odi onye ekwetere na okaga de kwa ndu gbua odi kwa ndu ike ekwetere na aga atu ya ngu gbua obia mara ije buli gelu na ipob ekwegi mebi kama na ipob gbachizire ikwu gbua kari oto ode mbu inye nam de kan oga adobozu gbua ma opu wa wodu ma odu mu maka na ewu ni ne no na etiti anya aposigo imela ezudo otisi wepusara anya ewu owe fodozi odu mu ndi nam de kan oga adobo we ga ogu Email is a man. Email a makanon di kwechisiri ke nubua. Email a chine kudu ni homi meranyi. Nareke le naro tuto. Nano jidama nambule elu ne nebo chi. Na hage. Chi. Uku okike. Abia. Amana. Pro ime. Ihenile. We have prayed. He said. He said. He said thank you. Let us move. I need to go closer. I need to go closer to the very, I want our people to, or Nigerians, invite them. You must have to invite Nigerians, the, the, the obedience, all of them, even PDP, all of them, whoever you are, as far as you believe in Nigeria, you are invited in this very program. You are very well needed. Because your eyes is blocked. Do you know the pictures at the front? Do you know the pictures on the screen? These are picture of, pictures of three, Niger three do people that claims to be Nigeria. Three people that even Tafa Belu are rejected Nigeria. But these are the three people they present to us as Nigerians. But Tafa Belu will never welcome Nigeria. He said this thing will not work. In 1961, he said it will not work. Even Awolo said the one Nigeria is not, will not work. It was Zeke that was talking about one Nigeria. Even Amadou Bello in speech, BBC interview, 1953, he said that Igbos is a tribe that when you allow them to your place, they will dominate everywhere. He said they will not even allow Igbo man to be in position. Amadou Bello, before they got Nigeria, before before they told Zeke to sign. Because they have no independence. How can you have independence? Are you be borrowing? You'll be borrowing from countries that uh, take away from you. How? Because you are a foolish country. You go and borrow from people you are feeding. They take away from you. If you have problem, they give you palliative. Uh, are you mad? Are you foolish? You, you are Nigeria. Your money is abroad. A batch of loot abroad. Uh, what kind of independence is that? Mad people. Let us show them their foolishness. You know. When we tell them that 
we IPOB, we know what we are doing. And that we will not go against democratic process, which was their election. We told them we will not try it because demanding for referendum is also a political solution, is also a democratic process. So if we come and say, no election, that is to say we are against democratic process. So we can only call for election boycott. But this time around, it is not in our agenda. We have caused that level. Do you understand? Election boycott is in line with referendum. Because people will boycott the referendum also. People will also vote for Nigeria, people from Biafra land. Then Biafrans will also vote for Biafra. And that is democratic process. It is a decision. It is a decision. The freedom is decision. Election, no election is against democratic process. It's against international law. It's against everything. I don't know why my system is breaking here. I don't know why. Okay. Thank you. Because if you say no election, it means that you are also rejecting referendum. Because there is no international organization or a country that will support a people who did not allow people to vote during the election. They will not support them to have referendum. Do you know why? During the election, there are Nigerians in Biafra land. There are Biafrans that believe in Nigeria. You will allow them to exercise their right during Nigeria election. It does not mean that they are telling you that you Biafrans should go and vote. No. You should allow your people that believe in Nigeria to vote. During Nigeria election, are you that? Let me go, Manuel, please. Let me go, Manuel. Right? So, and you, and you that does not believe in. Nigeria have to hold yourself and allow them. The same thing with the referendum. In the day of referendum, Biafrans that believe in Nigeria will go and vote for Nigeria. Even your brother will vote for Nigeria. You yourself will vote for Biafra. That's why immediately IPOB uh, came and they scattered that very rubbish, that Tinubu plan, APC plan, so that there will be no election in Biafra land, so that PWB will not drag them in court and expose them. Had there been no election, nothing to drag in court. Even Atiku will not drag. Because the election did not, they got some percentage in the East. They will tell you they got 10% in Anambra, 10% voting, 5% uh, voting in Enugu. Then 15% voting in Ebony because of Dave Umar, they will add 5%. Had there been no election, it will be 15%. Abia will get 8%. Uh, Imo State will get uh, 3%. Uh, you know, so voting, had there been no election, with this, P2B have no ground to go to court. He has nothing to present in court. So when IPOB said, we are not against Nigeria election. But we, IPOB, we are not participating in Nigeria election. So we are friends that want to participate, they are free to go. That's what we said. That's where we neutralize them. And the people that are following one Eberima government agent, they run away from this very agenda that these people used to blackmail IPOB, that they used to kill people for one year. No election. No election in Biafra land. No election in Biafra land. They scatter election campaign. They kill people. They destroy things. 
only broadcast of Mass Genius on Friday night destroyed their rubbish for one year. And they raised funds. People contributed money. Hey, if there is no election, now they, if there is election, now they can not be free. Hey, if there is no election, now they can stupidity of the highest order. Ask them, why is it that there was no ele there was election in Biafra land after one year campaign? Nobody asked them. Nobody asked them. No election, 150 days. Nobody asked them. Because IPOB is very wise. And that is why I am presenting the foolishness of Nigeria here. Just listen. This is what you are seeing on the screen. Every day I will be revealing more from this very plate number. I think this is what you are seeing on the screen. Is that not what you are seeing on the screen? Share the program widely. Now, Look at the pictures you are seeing on the screen also. They are here. I think you are seeing Tafa Belewa on the screen. Look at Tafa Belewa. Look at him with the cattle yarding stick. Look at his hand. You will see a stick on his hand. You will see a stick. He's using it to rear cow. Allah is Tafa Belewa. He is on the screen. The picture is on the screen. Look at him. Now, let us move. Do you know that this is Obafemi Awolowo? This is Obafemi Awolowo, a Yoruba man. This is Awolowo. Do you know that this is sick? Now, from the picture you are seeing on the screen, look at sick. Is sick too small? Is Zig a small man by stature? Is Zig a small man by stature? Now I ask you, why is Zig with this small head? Why do they keep Zig here at the back? Somebody will ask you, how do you know the back? Let us move. Look at the road. Look at the road. Going to where? Going to oil company. Look at where they are cooking oil. Look at where they are cooking oil in Biafra land. Look at where they are heading to. Look at where Tafa Belewa is leading them to. This is Tafa Belewa holding cattle yarding stick, leading the owner of the oil. They did not even bring Ziki closer to be showing Tafa Belewa road. They kept Ziki at the back. Why Tafa Belua is moving? I ask you, who is a Nigerian? Is anybody a Nigerian? Who is a Nigerian from the north? From the north? From the north? Zeke is at the back. Is Zeke from the south? Is from the north? No. Then, is Zeke small in nature? No. Why is he with small head? Why is Zeke here? Why is Zeke here? Why do they keep Zeke at the back? The man who brought independence. The father of Ojuku, Salwe Ojuku, sponsored the independence of Nigeria financially. He is from the East. Can't they use because of Ziki and the, uh, um, Louis Ojuku and keep Ziki at the front? Even bring Ziki closer to Tafa Belewa so that he can be showing Tafa Belewa road to where they are taking oil. Can you understand? It is on your screen there. I put it on the screen. This is the plate number. Zeke is at the back. That's why when Peter B came out, I made this video for him. I showed Peter B. Peter B, you don't know what you are doing. Though God want to, or maybe, let us keep God aside. Maybe it is a time to prove IPOB right. Let's keep God aside from that uh, matter. God did not create Nigeria. In the issue of Nigeria, nobody should present God. If you want to talk about um, Yoruba as a people, you can present God. God will answer you. You pray in the name of Biafra people. You can present, you can, you, God will answer you. You pray in the name of uh, Arewa or the God will answer. If you pray in the name of Nigeria, no God created Nigeria. God does not bless what he doesn't create. You see this microphone. God can never bless this microphone.
If this microphone has fault, I will go and repair it. God cannot repair this microphone. Are you aware? <laughs> God will come and sew your clothes if it tear. No, pray so that your clothes that tear will stitch itself. God does not bless what he doesn't create. God did not create Nigeria. If your chair breaks, God cannot bless it. You will go and repair it. If anything man made is spoiled, you don't present it to God. It has no business with God. People organize the election. It has no business with God. People arrange it. People decide on voting. People make laws that guide the vote. People printed voter card. People appointed people that will oversee the election. This is not the project of God. God did not give anybody the duty. You don't need to, but they use it to deceive you. Something man planned. Man who set it. Man who said how it will happen. Man gave the rules, guiding the election. He said, God will, God will help us. Is it God that will come and change the rules of man about the election? What is the business of God with the election? That's why they deceive you. Thank you. It is given that the Messiah, I want to help us God. We are going to see it. Let us move. Exposing Nigeria. Is there any? Does somebody want to come and tell you that is one Nigeria? Nothing like one Nigeria. Thank you. From here, I want to draw the attention. <laughs> now. Do you know that Tinubu is president? Upon his trying to do to you that he can give action, he can do action, or he can give order, he can make decision, is a lie. Tinubu does not make decision. Do you know why the past government told you that Tinubu's uh, government will be uh, that Buhari's government will be better than Tinubu's government. Do you know why they told you so? What Tinubu's government, all the agenda of Tinubu's government, have already been planned by them. You know, when they are playing their politics, Nigerians don't know. Nigerians don't know. Everything happening in Tinubu's government have already been set up by the past government. They are now sitting watching. Do you understand? Because Tinubu is not a Nigerian. There is no Nigerian. There are few people managing Nigeria. They are the people that decide on Nigeria. They are just British agents. People taking care. It's just like caretaker. People that is taking care of a British company. You know, a uh, few people. That's why they decide on your voting. They decide on how it will happen. They decide on your currency. They decide on everything. They de you don't have contribution. Thank you. Do you understand? Now, I will tell you from the screen. I will also bring it. I still want to ask a question about Buhari's government. I'm not talking about uh, Buhari that we know he died 2017. So I want to ask Nigerians and the public why is it that it's only Buhari's government that handed over and nobody hears about him again? Nobody calls those that work with him. Nobody remember like Muhammad. Nobody remember Mongunu. Nobody remember all of them. No, I have never had somebody mention Femi Adesina. I have never had somebody mention Tinubu government, mention Garuba Shehu. I have never. Do you understand? Now I ask you, do you know how they were singing song with the name of Jonathan? and the wife. I ask you, why is the name of Buhari and the wife and the children silent? 
even Buhari's government was even uh, trying to arrest the son of Jonathan. Why is it that there is no correction for Buhari to give to Tinubu? Why is it that Buhari attention is not needed in any angle in Tinubu's government? Why is it that only Tinubu's government is the one that does not call the past government that handed over to him? Because there is no Buhari to answer questions. There is no Buhari to take responsibilities. Tinubu is aware. That's why Tinubu, nobody can remove him in court because Tinubu is the only one who will be in position and Buhari's attention will not be called to come and look into. If it will be a article go into power, then Buhari should be called and they know there is no Buhari. Which Buhari will come and answer question? Which Buhari answer question neutrally? If not, imposters that they will plan and tell what to come and say. Will you call him, somebody from Niger Republic, to come and talk what he don't know without anybody giving him expo? He cannot say it now. He cannot say it. Have you ever had Aisha Buhari since Tulubu took over? Have you ever had Aisha Buhari? Have you ever had Buhari? Hey, he's a past government. He's a past government. Have you ever? Does it mean that Buhari was ruled like was God that ruled Nigeria? No fault, no complaint. Buhari has nothing to explain. Is that what you are telling us? That Tinubu is silently carrying his cross. Tinubu doesn't complain about the past government. It's only the wife that tried to come and say, I will default. And they caution her. Say, I got whatever. They told her, don't talk that, like that too. We don't want to involve the past government. The wife now go inside and stay. The other is. Make sure you will not remember Buhari past government because Tinubu is away. Buhari died. That is to tell you nobody is a Nigerian. Even past governors, people remember them. They still talk about them. But Buhari handed over Buhari government, not Buhari. But I want to present it like that Buhari handed over. Nobody remembers Buhari. No, Buhari ruled very well. No, Buhari government was the best. So, there is no fault. If Jonathan that ruled and said right 6,000 and if we well, um, 89 Naira, if they can be calling the name of Jonathan four years, eight years of Buhari, they keep calling Jonathan. Why is it that within three months the name of Buhari goes silent? Buhari? We are asking, can somebody tell us? That is the question I want to ask, draw for Nigerian youth. Even all of them, they go moot. Nobody asks uh, Tinubu, why not consult the past president? Nobody has ever told Tinubu like that. Even those that uh, was um, the idiot that was in national TV, he was angry. He cannot defend Tinubu. I want them to come and ask me something about our struggle. Let, you, let me see how I'll be angry. Mad people. You cannot defend Tinubu, you were angry. You say, you are harsh on me, you are raising voice on me. Those people can never be on interview and talk about Buhari. They can never talk about past president, past government. They can never. Because they knew there is no Buhari to answer questions. So how can you talk about that man? That's why Tinubu is silent. That's why Tinubu is dying in silence. Because his duty is to cover up the crimes of Buhari because there is no Buhari to answer questions. We continue. They must explain to us who is a Nigerian. Look at it. I think you can see it. You can see it. Right? 
It is on your screen that Zeke that brought independence. You saw Zeke on the picture there, the one with white. You see how giant Zeke is. See how low they brought him. That's how low Biafran is in, are in Nigeria. See how low they brought Zeke. See small head they give Zeke. See where they kept Zeke. The northern and now owns the east. Look at them. Look at Afa Belewa, leading the owner of the land. Look at Awolowo. Awolowo is even before Zeke. Awolowo. But ask yourself, why the big space? No. Why the big space? There is one Nigeria now. Why the big space between Awolowo and Tafa Belewa? Between the two Southerners? Why the two space? Why this big space? Now, why is Obafemi Awolowo and Zeke so close? Why are they so close? Why is Tafa Belewa? Holding cattle iron stick. I want to ask you, who is a Nigerian? Where are they heading to? They are heading, look at the road. They are heading to where our oil is, where they are cooking oil. Look at where they are cooking oil. Look at where they are cooking oil. Can you see it? Is it Tafa Belewa that should lead them? Is it Tafa Belewa that should lead them to oil? Was this plate number produced during Jonathan? Um, Tafa Belewa? No, it was during Jonathan. So why do they refer back to this rubbish? Why do they come in the time of Jonathan and they presented the rubbish? And Jonathan do not even know this because he handed this contract over to his wife, patient. Patient don't know this. But our God speaks to us. I repeat this because I was taught this. Just, I was on my own, they kept directing me. Look at this thing. Since then, messages have been coming from this. Look at them. Look at their northern wear. Look at his northern wear. Look at him. Look at Tafa Belewa. Look at the cattle iron stick on his hand. Look at him. Look at him. al -Haji. See his al -Haji. See his thing he tie on his head. See the bedsheet on his head. See it. See Tafa Belewa. Uh, see Awolo, a Yoruba man. See the big space. See where they join. Now look at the small space between the two Sultanas, Awolowo and Zeke. Now ask yourself, why is Zeke at the back? Why is Zeke small head? Why is Zeke uh, brought like this? Why? Then why do Tafal Belowa left his knot? He left his knot. They are going to the east or the south. He is now leading them to their home. Thank you. Thank you. Now you see why <laughs> uh, I told people to be see you cannot be president. Now I'm becoming say job. You go man to be president. <laughs> job. Because we know I am a bad watch a roku. I am a bad watch a roku. I will hear I will hear in a game. I will watch. I will do it like this. Do it like this. Imagine. Something happened far back. They came to the time of Jonathan when they brought this new plate number. Imagine what they designed. The same thing in their currency. They must bring in that tribe. They must do something to be different. They must do different something. Different thing. Now, that's why I talk about Tinubu. Now he's a president. You thought that He's now doing his own agenda. No. It must be agenda of the North. Facebook is have now arrived. They hate this program very well. Facebook, they hate it. They hate it. Thank you. I want to ask them. <laughs> Zoo. Hey, Peter B. Peter, I can see where they kept Peter B. Peter B represents Zeke. Look at Zeke. Look at where they kept Peter B. Is that not it? Is that not the thing? Is that not the position of the Bia France? Is that not the position at the back? Though we brought independence, though the father of Zuko or Juku financed the independence, no problem, but he must be at the back. Is that not the position? That's why we demand for referendum. Is that not our position? Show me our position. Why is Tafa Belewa here? Why? Now I ask you. When Babangida was a president, military president,
Do you know Ebutu Kiwe was here as a vice in the position of the Yoruba? Ebutu Kiwe was here as a vice. Now, Babangida signed Nigeria into OIC without the knowledge of Ebutu Kiwe. Are you aware? 1988. Ebutu Kiwe, military vice president, wasn't aware that a president, because he is just here as a vice to convince you. He have no position. But if a Nortana is a vice president, the Nortana will become closer to him. Go and ask Obasanjo. When Atiku was his vice, you will see that Atiku was so closer. Even Atiku want to claim to be president because he knew that where Obasanjo was occupying is the position of the North. So eventually, if a Sultana occupies here, he will not act on his own completely because it is not his position. Go and ask Jonathan. When Jonathan was here at the first position, mistakenly, because of the death of Jonathan Dwai, Namadi Sambu, Sambu wasn't even here. Namadi Sambu was so close to here. If a Nortana become vice, they refuse to occupy here. They must come closer to here. That's how it happens. But if a Nortana become president, if Nortan, a Southern vice president will be far, you must occupy here. Go and ask uh, Usibanjo. He occupied here now. You can't go closer to Buhari. Usibanjo occupied here. Do you understand? Atiku refused to occupy here as a vice to Basanjo. Atiku was so closer to here because this is their position. Do you understand? So Nortana always dragged this position. You can see this one now. Shetima is Boko Haram. So Boko Haram occupies Asorok. Tinubu is afraid because Boko Haram occupied Asorok. So Tinubu has no control over himself for occupying here because this is the position of the Yoruba people. This is Awolowo. For Yoruba man to be here is just to be doing the will of the Nortana because you are occupying the position of the North. So there is nobody that is a Nigerian. The Zik that brought independence, where they kept him is here. That's why P2P won election, they kept him at the back. Because this is the position of the Easterners. <laughs> you cannot change it. Hey, the whole Nigeria is supporting him. I told them to go and sit down. We are not against your election. Let us go to your motto. I am going to one man. I will be more to Kaiga. My guy goes here. See our Galaya. Ochiya, Ochiya game man. I'm a woman. I'm a guy. Leya ba. Leya ne segwe. Le tafa belewa. Ndia ifulani. Ndi not. Leya wolo wo. Le zik. Zik ya na ka. Peter B gay represent. Okay. Then this will be the position of Peter B. Last man. Heba ka oga ano. They will not even give him second. They will not give him second. Do you understand? So, that is to say, he has no position to be the first. Jonathan mistakenly become first, they form Boko Haram so that they can disqualify Jonathan. Then they want Nigeria how far? Even the car you are driving. <laughs> there is a very serious partiality there. Do you now see why the you can never have to say in Nigeria? Did you not see Amadou Bello there? He said, not an affair. When you listen to him, is that not what he said? It must be not an affair. And this is going to be permanent. The, not, the white man asked him, he said that it will not change. If anything will go to change it, it may even turn to bloodshed. It will never change. Do you understand? So, the, they have given them that mentality. Thank you. That is to tell them that IPOB is right. We have tried to maintain Nigeria. 
We have so seed. We have do all we can do. But we are always the victim. Because look at our position. They will never allow us to rise. Only our God is rising us. Look at where they kept people that brought independence. Zeke is also for independence. See where they kept Zeke. Then from the picture on the screen of this man, Zeke is the one putting on white. Is Zeke too small like this? Just confirm by yourself. Then why do they keep Zeke here with small head? Not even small head. Why did they keep him at the back while they are heading to his house to take oil? Is he not Zeke? If not, even if Zeke is not the driver, as Tafa Belua is the driver, why can't Zeke be closer? Zeke is supposed to sit at the front seat with the driver, to be directing the driver. Why do they keep Zeke at the back, the owner of the oil, when they are going to take oil? Not even that, too. Why is Tafa Belua holding, holding cattle yarding stick? Is he telling us that these people at the back are cattle? Is he telling us that Awolowo is cattle? Is he now telling us that Ezek is cattle? Why is he holding cattle yarding stick on his hand? I am in Biafra land though. Adam, my grandma, I'm going to get you again. I I woman now video I web again. Kondai megre moche. I got a lot of mad me you. I enjoy it, but I'm full of. We don't have gun. Full of fear, anger. If we pick up gun, what? Then you you will not kill yourself. Allow us to explain your Nigeria. I think you want us to be Nigerian. So we want to show you your Nigerian, your foolish Nigerian, your useless Nigeria. Facebook, are you hearing? I don't have gun. Can't do anything. I must say something. I must condemn it. It is only in Nigeria that Fulani women does not participate in athletes. But the Fulani people will be in sports to collect the money. When other tribes go and they get and win bronze and the gold. But they preserve their own woman, they cover their face, cover their head. Because they cannot wear pants and jump. I don't know is is religion or what. But uh, they are occupying the spots to collect the money and share it. Is it not evil? Hypocrisy. Your women cannot do it, but other women will go and do it. They are infidel. They will participate in long jump. They will participate in, um, what is it called? Every aspect. Then if they win anything, the Fulani in sports uh, Abuja will collect the money and share it. But their women does not participate. There is is evil in their own. But uh, evil women uh, from the east or the Yoruba land who go and do it, uh, then uh, you collect the money. Ma ma the people, a useless Nigeria. Show me a, fu a woman, a Fulani woman that uh, participate in Nigerian athletes or football. Show me. No, you cannot. You are holy. You are from heaven. But a Yoruba woman will go and uh, participate and collect money and win something. Full and idiots and not an idiot will collect the money and eat and share it. Mad people. I may tell me here on that matter. I think we are joking. Thank you. I ain't just had that. I ain't just need. Ebeke inaka. Where are they going? Now they can't wait to be Hannah Carter. Our last bus stop, Kaino. Kaiba, you won't get for that for Ndoshi, Nigeria, Nigeria. Our one for Hanese. So you, you believe in Nigeria? You want to convince me into Nigeria? Okay? Or you are going to tell your government to obey Kotode? No, I want you to convince me. But uh, what do you say? We are going to obey President Tinubu. And this is the kind of Nigeria you want me to belong. Where my father is a coward. In Nigeria, my father cannot confront and they challenge their government for committing evil. And you want your child to belong to such country. I, I don't know about have you ever opened your mouth and challenged your government and say, this is our constitution, obey it, obey our court order. Claim your Nigeria, stand on your Nigeria, defend your Nigeria. Time to defend Nigeria, you don't know. We are going to meet with President Tinubu to, to discuss, to beg him on free Namdekan. So you want me to belong to Nigeria and I will end up begging. My children will be begging. I don't have rights in Nigeria. 
So unless they don't have rights in their Nigeria, they want me to belong. So that I will end up begging like them. Then my children will beg. They will beg to know. My children will beg for me. That's why we said no. The freedom. Let us decide if we we'll end up begging. We win court instead of you to present our victory. Now we can't say He said we are going to beg to know. Tomorrow he said we are not ready to leave the east. But you are ready to leave the earth because you will die. If you are not, uh, sorry, we are not ready, to, we are east is not ready to leave Nigeria. But to you, be ready to leave the earth before we will leave Nigeria. You will leave the earth, mad people. If you cannot defend, if, how can somebody tell me that this thing is good? You cannot show me. Governor will say, me, we want to leave, remain in Nigeria. Indeed, he, he, he's not prepared to leave the east. Oga. Go and prove it to us. Go and tell your president. Go and sleep in Minister of Justice. Sleep on Hanes and Deebu. All of you should go to Minister of Justice and sleep. Sleep there. Ask them. Why is it that court order cannot be obeyed? Not to IPOB order. Not be Afra court order. Your Nigeria court order. So that if we see how you are defending your Nigeria, we will know that this your Nigeria is good. You gave birth to us. We grew in Nigeria. Right? You yourself, you were not born as a Nigerian. All these uh, elders, they were born as Biafrans. Do you understand? They enjoyed Biafra when there was no Nigeria. Some of them now they now join, they now enter Nigeria. The Nigeria is not favoring them. And they get back to us inside Nigeria. So we grew up inside Nigeria, isn't it? And we have seen Nigeria. Do you think that they can explain Nigeria to us? We are the people that will explain Nigeria to our fathers. Because we are born in the Nigeria. Some of them were born outside Nigeria. They were born in Biafra. And then we are fixed into Nigeria. Now, we that started seeing Nigeria from grassroots, from birth, from inside mother's womb, we are the people that understood Nigeria. That's why we confront them. We said, Father, those things you are doing will not help. We have studied the old Nigeria. We need reflection. They say we are elders. So what we are seeing, we don't want war. We say we did not call for war. We call for referendum. They said war, war. We told them, oh God, Baba. We don't call for war. We call for referendum. They say we don't need war. What we saw there is a lie. We call for referendum. Since then, they want to turn it to war. We said no. Today, we have shown them we do not call for war. We have defeated them in the court. Now we now ask them, you that does not want to war, our father, why can't you go the same way IPOB is going? Because going through court is sure that we don't want to war. Then why can't you challenge your government and say, obey court order? Now that they don't want to walk, they go through court. Obey court order. Nobody will say it. They say, Nigeria, Nigeria, or oh God, something you are not proud of. You want to convince me, you must be foolish. Prove us that your Nigeria is good. Then it will attract us to join your Nigeria. A Nigeria where you are coward. A Nigeria where you are. They are the pollution uh, Igbo properties in Lagos. Nigeria where you are. Any day they wake up, they lock our shops. Right? Nigeria, where you are, you are Hanese. You are there, they stop us from voting in Lagos. You are there, they are, they, they, every time they will be threatening us. You were there, a northern group set bounty, placed bounty of 100 million on the head of Namdeka. How many northern people have you or Hanese placed bounty on their head? How many northern? Even they have terrorists. We do not have terrorists. Criminals. We be up and fight criminals from our place. We don't wait for government. We fight terrorists by on our own, without government. From community, you are aware. Every community has leadership. They fight criminality from whom? We don't wait for government. So you know that we don't pamper criminality. So we be up friends cannot be supporting criminality. Because Sinam Dekano is not calling for criminality. He called for referendum. But at the end, all of you turned against us. 
and we continue to maintain what we agreed today here we are we have defeated all of you why are you running away why can't you prove us right okay prove us wrong Prove to us that your government can obey court order. Because sometimes they can't say they don't obey court order. Prove to us, no, you cannot. You are going to beg, Mr. You beg Buari until he left office. You are still begging. What shows you are a Nigerian? That's why we ask them, who is a Nigerian? If small thing happen, nothing I would say, we will not supply food, but their cows are there. They send them to destroy our farmlands. Do you see the partiality? When we form ESN to fight the cows that are destroyed, they say no, IPOB is killing Northern. But you see them making mouth of seizing their food. That is to say, it is their plan to destroy our farmland, keep us hungry, then seize their food. And IPOB said no. We said no. Thank you. And that's why they are jumping on. You cannot come up and say, we will not bring food and we will be panicking. Panic where? I don't know, but who can bring us down? Bring Biafran down? From 20 pounds, look at where we are. From the genocide, all the killings. Look at where, how many number we are in the world. Who can bring us down? It's just a waste of time. Nobody can bring us down. We are specially blessed. No tribe in Nigeria will face what we faced since 7 to 70 and they will remain now. Nobody, who are you? Can you remain? Are you blessed like us? Who are you? Do you have sense to grow empty hand? Fulani, you see in your community, is back. You have army and the police phone number. But you see a Biafran travel to where you don't have anybody. He don't hope on anybody to defend him or to save him. What he will do is to obey the law of the land and stay and hustle and fight for his own. Tell me a Fulani that can travel to any place here in Biafran land or any part. Without a backup phone number of a military man, military para. Now, if anybody looks for your trouble, call a military man. Is it you that they'll be looking for your trouble? But to know Biafran travel to the north with the hope of phone number of a military or police. Because they are not troublemakers, they are. Thank you. We are dealing with them, with truth. So that is it. There is no Nigeria. If something happens in the North, they say Northern elders are warning the Easterners. Where do you see the one Nigeria? Have you ever seen some? They should leave this program now. Why are they removing people in this program? Facebook, why? Censoring the program. No problem. Have you ever seen a Nigerian contesting for president and he contested or they presented him with the name Nigeria? Nobody contests with the name of Nigeria. They contest with the name of a tribe. Hey, is a not now? Okay, let us look for Eastern uh, vice president. Now, let him be, uh, okay, a Westerner is contesting. Okay. We look for Northern Vice President. We look for Eastern Vice President. Now let us go to South South and get Vice President. Is that not stupidity? Where does it show one Nigeria? If it is one Nigeria, why must we be talking about tribe? That rubbish. Anybody can contest a nation. There is nothing like a tribe. Anybody can contest a nation. In one country. But this one, it is a ton of Yoruba or God, there is no like, one Nigeria. Now let Igbos rule, oh, now let Igbos rule. I beg you, let Igbos rule. Or God, that shows there is no Nigeria. No Nigeria talk more of one. Is it not when you have Nigeria, you now talk about one or two Nigeria? Only in Nigeria will be hearing one Nigeria. You need, you need, if you even go to Ghana, you know here, we need one Ghana. We need one Ghana. We need one America. We need one Germany. We need, you will not be hearing this rubbish. Highest if people is agitating for freedom. It is different. Not everybody, every time begging. Because even them that are begging cannot do it. If you provoke the person, he will tell you you are Igbo. I don't like the way Igbo do. That person, that person that I want to show you is a good Nigerian. I am preaching this. I am preaching. 
Just match him by mistakenly and speak Igbo. Just the Yoruba man that tried to show you one Nigeria. Just mistakenly match him, match his leg and speak. He will say, I'm Igbo. You did not do him anything. Just the seed sold. The seed have been sold. Show me, okay, if a Yoruba man is going on a lonely road and the Fulani man is coming face to face as a Niger as Nigerians, do they see themselves as one? Will the Yoruba man be moving confidentially? The answer is no. Because he knows that the Fulani have weapon. Because Fulani have no land. So, for somebody that does not have a single land of his own to operate, he must go with weapon to fight the main owners of the land, to threaten them, to chase them away. So, that's why when they come to your place, they come with weapon because they have no land. You that owns the land, you move freely because you are the owner of the land and they will kill you. Because their belief is that you want to fight them. Because they came to take your land. Show me where a Fulani man will be moving in the east or any part of Igbo land or any place. And a fellow baby France will be coming. Face to face on a lonely road. Two of them will part. This one will go this side, this one will go this side. Is even the Igbo man or the Biafra that will be afraid of the flan? He will not greet the flan. Because he's afraid. You know that he has weapon. He don't have gun. He don't have land. So he has knife. He may even have gun to kill you. So you try to make him happy. You cannot just stop and greet him as your brother. You are not brother. They should stop forcing people into this rubbish. They are not brothers. Do you understand? We are not brothers and sisters. We can never live together. It doesn't happen. Killing cannot stop us. Intimidating cannot stop IPOB from demanding for a freedom. It is our duty. It is in our hand to decide our future. If we discover that our father made mistake or that if our father was forced, now that we can breathe, now we are strong, we can save the future of our children. If we discover what they put our fathers and which they burn us into is rubbish, have never benefited anything, us, uh, have never benefited us anything. It is in our hand to say no in a rightful position by standing on demand for freedom. It is in our hand to decide if Fulani will continue raping our mothers by voting no to Biafra during referendum. It is in our hand to decide to be having Garoba in the, as the DPO of my poli the police headquarters in my community who cannot hear the language of my place to be DPO. And also Adamu from Katsina as DCO. Imagine DPO and DCO from the north in any community in Ezeago or a community in Ogo or a community in Lumbo. Imagine when they have some community issues because it's all about community. How do you present it to him? You come with English. How does he res respond? Does he know your culture? Even if what you present to police is all about culture, can he handle it? Because he's from Zungel, because he's from KB. So it is in our hand to decide that somebody from KB who does not understand our language can be a DPO in my community to be handling our issues, which he, does, he cannot handle very well. Rather, he will be causing enmity in the communities when he knows that he's not from that community, that he can be posted out. So he came from KP, he said confusion, he caused trouble, he bring disunity, he will be trying a matter he, he should refer to traditional ruler, he will try to look into it when he does not even know anything about the community. He will bring full and agenda. So it's in our hand to vote in referendum that we want cows to be eating our crops, to destroy our farmlands. It is our, in our hand to vote that 
somebody a Boko Haram that uh, was recruited into the army can be at the checking point of my community without even knowing his where he came from. You cannot hear his language. You don't hear your language. You will be in checking point in the front of your community. It is our hand in our hand to decide because somebody that's supposed to be there, posted there, should be hearing our language, should be hearing, if it is Igbo, you hear Igbo. If it is a Kwa Ibom, you hear their language. You will come from that area. So that if you shoot somebody to death, we will go to your community. We will catch you. We will say, this is Ezeu. This one is a maker. He shot my brother. We know his house. He's a policeman working in this community. Not uh, Adamu or Ahmed from Kasina. He shoot in Mbise and run back to Kasina. How do you find him? You will hear from the government. We are going to bring him to book. The policeman that shot an innocent young man to death at Mbise, we, 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 he must face the law. Nebe, he's not facing the law. He's doing jihad. After six months, they will send him to Osaka and make him the CEO. The next two months, they will move him to Zago and make him DPO because it is his payback for killing an NBC man. They will pay him for making him DPO in the same Igbo land. After six months, they will think that the matter is over. Ask yourself, all these people, not an ass police and the army that have been shooting us, they call it shooting, both in Lugu, both Abia, both everywhere. They have been killing us. They say they will get them. They will bring them to justice. Show me one of the police that they have convicted. Show me. Show me they are all DPOs. They promote them. It's just like during this 70 to 70, capture Zuaka, a double pay, capture Abaka, a double pay. It was a promise to the Nigerian army. Capture all double pay, capture Afibo, double pay, capture Enugu, double pay, capture Nsuka, double pay, capture Ahaba, double pay, capture uh, um, Sapele, double pay, capture, um, what is it called? What is it called? Oh, Nisha, double pay, capture Oka, double pay, capture Owe, double pay, capture Olu, double pay, capture Kigwe, double pay, capture Omae, double pay, capture. Uh, what is it called? Aba, double pay. All these places, they promise them. If you capture it, they will pay you double. Obasanjo, those army commanders that led those armies, that commanded those army to the destroy our land, Obasanjo got double pay. Then the people they led to the genocide in our home, they got double pay. How? Obasanjo ruled Nigeria after Motla Mohammed was killed for three years. First pair as a genocidist. Obasanjo is a genocidist. Now, he now returned 1999 from 99 to 2007. Eight years plus three years, 11 years, double pair. Did Motla Mohammed become president? Yes, his first pay. He was on his first pay and they killed him. Do you understand? Did the Buhari become governor of Katsina State? Yes. Was he later a military administrator of Nigeria? 1983 to 85? Yes. Now, how many pays? Was Buhari later become the uh, civilian president of Nigeria? 2015 to 2017, he died, and they, they used his name and they rule for the remaining few years. So, did the, the Buhari later got his double pay? Yes. The same thing, even Abacha that they led, even Babangida that even went to the war, he led people to the war. Babangida got his double pay. At once, from 1985 to 1993, he got his double pay at once. All of them got double pay. Do you understand? Now, the people they led to destroy our land and kill our people are the people they made all these uh, military administrators they sent in our land. Do you understand? 
all these administrators, they call Navy Captain Temi Angel. It's from Delta State, too. Then, uh, Navy is Biafra Land. Navy Captain Frank Ajobina. Navy Captain Tanko Zubairo. Okay, or Captain, no, not Navy Captain. Temi Angel is Navy Captain. Tanko Zubairo is an is a army man. Then, uh, what is their name? All these people got double pay. Because they send them to rural states. Three, three months, they send it to another state as military administrators. Now, our people that sabotage their friends, they gave them double pay. All the people that their father sabotaged their friends, they got appointment in federal government. Even Martin Elegi, former governor of Federal State, was pointing at where our people was hiding. He pointed, he was showing the Northern and Nigerian Army where his people was hiding. He later become governor of Epon. That was when the time came. They presented him to the Northern and reminded the Northern that I was a saboteur then. No, it is my turn now to rule. Go and ask all these people that got appointment in government. Thank you. Thank you. Do you understand? Yes, you can watch. Okay. Do you understand? So this is where we are getting it. We are pushing them from. We said, we are not going to be Nigeria. We have tested it. Our father did not tell us good story about Nigeria. They keep begging. They keep begging. They keep avoiding trouble. As if the other people were born for trouble. The other people is to kill us. And when you ask why, they say, we don't want trouble. So we want to ask them, are you part of this Nigeria? They say yes. I say okay. Now we have dragged Nigeria in their court. We secure victory. Why can't you go and defend your Nigeria by challenging your government to obey court order? Rather, you ended up begging. So is it this your begging of Ohaneze, begging government, begging Tinubu? Is what you want us to inherit? And you want our children to inherit from us also? We will end up begging after you might have begged. Then after that, our children will start begging again. If they want to eat, they will beg. Our children, children will start begging. Now we are going to beg government. That is to say, we are not part of here. So if you say we are part of here, the best thing is the battle line draw. What is the battle line? Referendum. Let us decide that nobody forced us into Nigeria. But now, our fathers was forced into Nigeria. That's why we can prove it. We, are, we can prove it. If our fathers was not forced into Nigeria, why are they not begging? Why are they keep begging? Why do they keep begging? Why do they keep begging? Begging in a country where they own. So if we are doing combined in the shop, we have a shop. You bring money, I brought money. Even you have, you are the one, the one who brought the main capital. You own the oil. But we are doing combined. You own the money of the shop. We are doing combined. So the person that did not even contribute money, he just that a. Uh, he is there, we are in the shop, he brought small thing, you know, because we serve, just like we serve the same master, you know, the same people colonize us, so we serve the same master. Now, but I am the owner of the money we use in business. So, this man is free to buy a car. He is free to change clothes. He is free to build a house. But if I want to cut my neck, I that have the crude oil, I will go and beg him that I please, uh, master, master, let, let, I want to bring money for razor blade inside the drawer. I, I will go and buy razor. I want to cut my neck. And I also I want to bat my hair. Beg him. You beg Flanny to cut. You bet you are the owner of the oil. You brought money for the shop. You rented shop. You bought goods. You just brought him. Sorry, your guy told two of you to go on combined. That's what your guy said, which is the British. You'll be on combined business. But the combined thing is that you are all, they are always the master. They will be the manager. They will hook you everything. They will hook you up the shop. You that owns your you don't have any position. These are the things we saw. We tried to change it, it didn't work. We said, okay, 
we will not fight, we will not kill anybody. What we will do now is we will demand for freedom. Hence, there is nobody that claims to be Nigerian. No. You saw the Fulani man telling you they will stop sending food to this other southern part of Nigeria. Nobody preaches Nigeria. Nobody. Nobody preaches Nigeria. So why is it that somebody is trying to tell me that they will use their court to force us into Nigeria? They will use killings of IPOB to force us into Nigeria? They will use blackmail to force us into Nigeria? When our argument is very clean and pure, you cannot do it. You cannot. And we are not going to die more for it. Rather, you that want to force us into Nigeria will die on this matter. We have died enough for it. You must allow us to decide. You say Nigeria is good. Our people will vote for Nigeria in referendum. I think it is benefiting us. We benefit from Nigeria. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of referendum? Why you know we benefit from Nigeria? You all should be aware that we vote for Nigeria during referendum. Do you understand? So, what we are now saying is that IPOB have seen all these things we are showing you today. The plate number, we knew it. The place where they placed us, we knew it. We knew everything about Nigeria. And Nigeria can never change us again to be Nigerian. If they like, let them bribe everybody from the East. Everybody is not IPOB. You can bribe everybody. You cannot bribe IPOB. We can never be Nigerian. You must give us what we demand for. Let our people go and try. Let our people decide their future. Because we don't know when they created Nigeria. It is time to validate Nigeria. With referendum, if Nigeria were, is meant for good, people will validate it. With referendum, people will vote for Nigeria. That is making Nigeria legit. As for now, there is nothing like Nigeria. If nobody can come out, come out and tell us the reason why Nigeria was amalgamated, rather what we keep hearing from them is, let us stay. Let us stay together. Let us stay together. We have never had anybody that come up and say, these are the reasons. These are the reasons why Nigeria was created. This is how it is. And this is how we were. Nobody. Only begging. Hey, we will not depart. We will not divide. We will be one. That thing have, is, it is meaningless to us. Because we presented strong argument. You can only present such rubbishes to Nigerians. Who have no argument. I feel we have argument. If you come up and say, we will start one, you, you, you have no resources, you will die, you, you, you will progress, it was not good, Nigeria will be incomplete, without you, it is not an argument, argument is referendum. Can you change the foundation of Nigeria? No. Thank you. Can you change the foundation of Nigeria? No. Let me show you again before I round up. Right? See Nigeria. See the pictures on the screen. Tafa Belewa. Look at him here. Obafemi Awolowo at the middle there. Look at him here. Namda Zikiwe with white. Look at him here. Then, can you change this? Nigeria was created how many years ago? Now, British gave them paper independence, 1960. Now, this replate number was printed under Jonathan. Ask yourself, why is the hatred shifted to even during Jonathan that they even remember to put Zeke at the back? Can't they make mistake and put Zeke at the front? To show you that they will never change. It can never change. You are going to the house of Zeke to take his oil from the oil well. But you are 
the one leading Zeke to his house. You keep Zeke at the back, Awolowo is at the center. Though you create that big space, so that the Northerner will be very, very far to show that they are the Nigeria. Then these two Southerners at the back, that is not the only, only, the only thing. I ask again, is it not Zeke that's supposed to be at the front seat with the driver, Tafa Belewa, so that he that is the owner of the house will lead the Tafa Belewa? Look at the road where they are following. Look at the road. Look at it. They are following this road. So Zeke can lead him to go and take care of oil in their house. Look at the north. Why is Zeke here? Why is Zeke with his small head? From these pictures here, is it not Zeke that is even giant among them? Why do they give Zeke small head? Why do they fix him here? That's where they get P2P. I told P2P, look at, if you watch this plate number, I sent, I made a video for P2P. I said, look at the Nigeria you are dragging. It is impossible. It doesn't work. Look at the big space. Look at it. If a Northerner become a president, a Southerner will become vice. Now, if the Southerner become vice, he will give, he will maintain this to, this big space. But if a Southerner mistakenly become a president, a Northern vice president cannot maintain here. He must come closer to him. Why is it like that? Babangida was president. Ebutu Kiwe was vice. But they think you don't know when Babangida signed Nigeria into OIC. Do you understand? We are not Nigerians. If you say we are Nigerians, allow us to refrain them. So that we will decide if we are we will accept this position in Nigeria. It is in our hand. It is in our hand. We cannot manage it. What is our business with the North? Why do you keep us here and you are heading to our house to take our oil? Why? Why? Can't Zeke lead you to his house? Can't Zeke lead you? Can't he lead you? So you know the road to the house of Zeke. You are now leading Zeke. Zeke is now at the back with a small head. We will not accept it. We said no. We are IPOB. You may deceive our fathers. We said no. And referendum will solve it. There's no changing now. Threat cannot change it. Nothing else will change it than to do what we ask for. Refrendum. We are our people in abroad. If they run to your embassy and complain, you will even write against them. Immediately they turn, you write against them to that government. Then why why do you now claim that we are Nigerians? No Nigerian embassy can come for our rescue of any kind in any part of the world. Then I ask you, why is it that? You remove our rail lines. You uproot it, uprooted it. No other part of Nigeria complains because here is not part of Nigeria. If here is Nigeria, don't you know Yorubas will go on protest? Northerners will go on protest for removing rail lines in the east, eastern Nigeria. That's how they will fix it. Because it will also help all of them. It is their country. But to know that there is not their country. They are happy. If they are demolishing Biafra property in Lagos, they are happy. If they are burning the uh, market in Lagos, in northern side, they are happy. If they lock up our shop, they are happy in Lagos. Because we are not part of Nigeria. If we are part of Nigeria, why do they target our economy? Why do they target our resources? Is it not the resources of Nigerians? Is it not the economy of Nigerians? So, the economy of Igbo people is different from the economy of Nigeria. So, are you telling us that the shops, the markets that Lagos State Government always lock up does not benefit anything to Nigeria? Does not contribute anything? So, the resources coming out from there, Nigeria does not get anything. So, if they are Nigerians, why do you always tackle their economy? Is the economy of the Igbos different? Igbo businessmen, is it different from the economy of Nigeria? Now you see the partiality. Now you understand. Do you see it now? That Nigeria is not for us. Even when our people say, okay, let us go and vote and, and practice Nigeria, they refuse them from voting in Lagos. They say they should go to their place. 
That is to tell you there is no Nigeria. Nobody should pamper rubbish. Nobody should talk rubbish to us. Don't present what we knew better than you. We were born in the Nigeria. Right? But some of our fathers was born in Biafra. And they came into Nigeria. So they cannot even explain Nigeria to us very well. They have grown before they become Nigerian. We that was born into Nigeria, that grown with the foundation of Nigeria, okay, we will explain Nigeria to our fathers. What do they know about Nigeria? Have they tested Nigeria? We are the people that grow in Nigeria. They born us in Nigeria. But they were born in Biafra. So we are to confront them and say we don't want this thing. Thank you. Do you understand? So that is what we are presenting. We are here to prove to them that we know what we are doing. Let them not just say, they are just agitating for Biafra. They, they, they are agitating. They, earlier they say it's for Jonathan. Because of Jonathan, they are not agitating. They did not agitate. Since then we have been fighting. This program, I just bring it to them to know that we are not joking. We do not just wake up in the morning and start agitating. No. We have tried to maintain Nigeria because we were born there. You can see our fathers. They, we, we are elders. We are going to beg to We told them we cannot be begging in our country where we belong to. If that is the country we want to convince us into, any time we will be begging. We will beg for court order to be obeyed instead of ordering. Giving order or demanding, you'll be begging. You'll be begging to remove checking points. We'll be begging. When you know that even you in your community, you do not allow criminal, you don't have a criminal, you don't pump a criminal in Igbo land. But if you see Nigerian army rolling their armor, 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 they are going to find criminal in the east. You say, they, they should come. Tell me a community that trained criminals in Igbo land, that pampa criminals. Do you think uh, Igbo land will welcome Tinubu without a passport, without a certificate? We will also fight Tinubu, we tell him that you don't have certificate. We do not pamper evil. We hate evil. When Jonathan uh, um, Peter B came out, we brought his own evil. We don't hide evil. This is us. So how do you work, always invite army? People that, that are begging us to be Nigerian. They always invite me to Kiku. To Kiku, do you train criminal in your community? These elders, these governors, show me that community that attracted you. Where you see their elder, if they give child to children, they will tell them that they will continue in armed robbery. That armed robbery is the occupation. That kidnapping is the occupation. That uh, criminality is the Show me a community in Ibo land that do so. That you always capitalize and bring army. And you cannot be with the army at that checking point. So that if they are torturing people, you say, no, no, it's not what we call you for. This one is not criminal. You cannot be there. You call army. When we ask, what is the army doing here? You say, no, we are not ready to leave Nigeria. What kind of partiality is that? We are not demand for referendum. You say, no, we don't want referendum. But you cannot condemn evil. You don't want referendum. You are elder. You can't demand for your court order to be because it's your court. It's your Nigeria. You believe in your Nigeria. And you cannot challenge your Nigeria to be a court order. Are you not foolish? Do you think you, think you can convince us to believe in your rubbish? You don't want referendum. You, you cannot challenge your government. You cannot obey court order. And you are elder. You want Nigeria. You want restructure. Have you restructured your house? Any elder that calls for restructure in Igbo land, let us go to their house. The person must take us to this, his home. Let us see how his family is restructured. Because these people are people that do not even have a peaceful home. People that have scattered their house. It is time that if somebody say, I am elder, I am a spokesperson, I am elderly spokesman, I am a uh, elder statesman, yes, elder statesman. I am an uh, intellectual. I am elder from the East. I am ex-governor. Not to your state. We go to your house. That's your house. 
We see how peaceful your house is. We will see how good you arrange your house. We will see how you structure, you restructured your house. Anumpama, people that does, does, cannot arrange their house, they will tell you, we are, we are, we are representing you. Able to get a walk home and not here. No peace in their home. They did not arrange their house well. People that cannot, that have no value in their community, is now representing Igbo. Thank you. It is happening live on Pad in Padova. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Padova, Italy. Okay, on 18th of November 2023, our BTV and liaison office opening. Okay. Thank you. I wanna now go on air and I am now more can get up. I am more IPOB Imehana Kanakan. A journey elephant, Bonnie Jamma. Oh, talk I need sign a boozer female. Oh, I'm one more, I'm one more, I'm one more. I'm one more. I am not gonna back at a port, but they are not. That's how we are tying a shabba. Oh, yeah, I feel you. I am my Anna Hair composer. Now, we have 150 days. Hey, 13 days. Hey, no, let's. Hey, let's. I am not her composer. I am with time. I am not going to go on air. I am going to go on air. I am cross one car. I am going to go on air. 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 We have a declare, we have a launch uh, enter Biafra. Yendi and Nino on a Dindi Rosses. Macona de Haka plan, how about a rule? Plan on deal. On a de Haka, Mehalanka, Yakos, Mehalanka, Mehalanka, Mehalanka. So, ne me, Kaha, you know, Mos, and then Mos, and on a de Hosses, on a de Hosses. Aba Paul, yes, but you didn't cut, you didn't cut, you didn't cut. We put ya, we put ya, you didn't cut, you didn't cut. Within fifteen minutes, he made other changes. Within fifteen minutes, he made other changes. Why not be a big and a quarter quarter? Right? Enter Biafra to replace a IPOB community radio. Tant, what do you want to know? Community radio, but which is a each and enter be afraid of place. Community radio. Meruche me phone yara. Yeah, we're mad man. Kigeji enter be afraid of place. Ara no kwa no wa. Radio be afraid. Mere buare ya mo. Radio be afraid. Mere buare obra. Mere buare ya mo. Kasi mo no si no launch the voice of be afraid to replace radio be afraid that they should not listen to radio. Radio Biafra, Radio Biafra. Hi, I don't know where no one. Now the kind of thing, go and inform your friends and well wishers, your family and friends, well wishers. Come with your pen and paper. The whole world is listening. Can somebody in a category know with a VOP? AJ replace here that you should not listen to Radio. Nah, I can't. I'm going to go on one car. I'm going to go on one. Na hamu kwa enter biafra. Na na hamu kwa emo branch. Na na hamu kwa na akoko. Ewe akonka 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 akonka. Today akoka agbola ni abla na zero mwe. Awoje. Ndewo. Okay, let us add anom na brokers. Thank you. Do you understand? On the day I'm invited, I'm Right? Oh, thank you, sir. So that is it. I'm not sharing the off. Can we make a game in the dog? It's only them going to pose them. But that mad at all here. But the letter got to very soon. Up to mad at it to one release. On the Yamadu Subu, Oroka, Mada Aga, 
I was going to all on our faces, but I had a or a carry hump one young car, maybe. Right? I am the problem. I am the problem. Very serious problem. And they got a little amount of value in Hyro. That's why you get the food, like a more cheap gun and a car, con a banner, go pepper, a banner, a pepper, and I coin you. I coin your name where he ma basare and I coin you. But I chalk out, I draw you going in when I can't in a quip. In a quip, but I chalk out your big watch again in the hang, a judge the federal government and Britain. Mandiru ndozo, ichawa kai publish sheregia. Kimweke kai urezu wa mato. Poto otu kina mwenye njishi dina nabani. Iwe hii video ye postu. Iwe hu. Bifi ya nuki. Iwe hii postu ya. Yo ATM piniki. Iwe hii postu ya. O IPO bigi postu ya. Umu anompama. Mado pe. I will plan a year post again. Thank you. So we do not believe in Nigeria because we have never been Nigerian. If we are Nigerians, if they want us to be Nigerian, they should prove us wrong with referendum. Gone cannot prove IPOB wrong. Black men can never prove IPOB wrong. Illegal detention can never prove IPOB wrong. Disobedient to court orders can never prove IPOB wrong. Imagine what I am telling you, Nigerians. I stopped in primary four, first term. Remember the IPOB, other one, they finished secondary. There are university ones. So if I, that stopped in primary four, can be telling you this, imagine others. We will destroy this place. So we are not novices to this. We are not novice to this because we we brought our time to study it. Do you understand? Thank you. So we we'll continue to deal with them. Our argument we presented, they, none of them have confronted. None have come and confront any of our presentation. They're just running away. That's why we occupy these spaces. We have chased everybody away now because we have superior arguments. You cannot challenge us. We are right in what we are doing after all. Nigerian judges are aware. They have been giving us victory. So what we are saying is that illegal detention cannot stop us. Kidnapping of IPOB members cannot stop us. Militarization of our land cannot stop us. Using politicians to kill us cannot stop us. Anything you try that is outside the freedom, you are dreaming. It is only referendum that will prove IPOB wrong. It is only referendum that our people will reject Biafra and chase and the big Nigeria. That is referendum. But as neutrally, you are on your own talking rubbish. You are dreaming. Do you know how many IPOB in Nigeria are killed? You can only put us wrong with referendum. So do not st do, just stop talking about any other thing or dreaming about any other method to fight IPOB. You cannot. The presentation of Namdekan have not been confronted. They say he's a terrorist. He say he's a he committed treason. They say he's a felony. They say he's this or that. But what did he present? Referendum. You run away from referendum. You are bringing terrorists. Today, where did you get yourself? Show me one IPOB family member that is a convict. Fine, for Biafra in Nigeria. No one. Where have you convicted in Namkan? None. So, what is the reason of your rubbish you have been doing? If you can do it 10 years, you cannot get IPOB down by convicting a single IPOB family member because that is the only defeat. The IPOB. But when some people come up and start asking us our gun, does we choose gun? Some say, what are you doing? Take action. What action are you taking? All the action we are taking, have we not been getting victory? What action? We go to court to defeat. Nigeria disobey court order. That is the rule we choose, even when Namikan was not kidnapped. We don't change it. It is the way to naked Nigeria. Because they refuse to agree 
to the world that they are not practicing democracy. They refuse. The world also was convinced by them that we are evil. So we now drag Nigeria into open. Let them prove how we are evil. Let them prove how we are wrong. In their court, they wasn't able to prove it. And some people are still asking you, what are you doing? For how many years we cannot, they cannot convict us? How they can run up? Imagine how. No, you don't know what it is. You don't know. You don't know that we have defeated Nigeria. You don't know. Show me one IPOB convict. I wait to try is not convict. Convict with the terms of jail. No, you cannot do it. Then, if we pick up arm, will they stand it? If they cannot defeat us in their court, if they cannot use judiciary to weigh us down, can they defeat us if we pick up gun? Thank you. We are running it up here. We are rounding it up here. From me, fearless IPOB evangelist Mazi Madachimachuku. And from here, our homeland radio Biafra, here in Biafra land. It is good morning. <laughs>